lose them all. I'm Zane. I'll be your officer today. Would you come in, please? Climb on board. Come in here, please. Subjective refraction is the method of determining the combination of lenses that provides the patient's best corrected visual acuity. It is a system of trial and error which requires the patient's cooperation and their subjective responses. Here are the pros and cons for subjective refraction. The equipment needed are a lens box, trial frames, pinhole and occluder, and Jackson cross cylinders. You will also need a vision chart, in this case we've used a Snellen, and a dual chrome chart. Okay, so you're here for your eye test. Are you having any troubles with your vision? Yeah, I'm just having difficulty seeing into the distance. As stated by the patient, they are having trouble viewing in the distance, which indicates that they are myopic. In myopia, the light rays fall in front of the retina, and to correct this, we will need a minus spherical lens to push the light rays back onto the retina. On the other hand, hypermetropia is when the light rays fall behind the retina, and therefore, plus spherical lenses are needed to bring the light rays back onto the retina. Okay, so I'm going to test your vision and see if it can be corrected with glasses. Okay, so I'm just going to pop these trial frames on you to help with the test. Okay. Just tell me if they're comfortable. Here, Zane is adjusting the trial frames by ensuring proper IPD, nose height, and that they are sitting comfortably. Yep, that's good. And I'm just going to put this occluder to cover your left eye so we can test the right eye. Yep, okay, Zane. Okay, so looking up at the chart ahead, what's the lowest line that you can read? So we can see A-O-H-T, D-H-L-E-N, C E A T. Yeah, good job. N, I think. Alright, oh, that's, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to put this pinhole in front of your right eye, and this should help you see better. The pinhole blocks out peripheral rays of light so that the principal ray falls onto the retina. This allows the orthoptist to assess the patient's best corrected acuity. We aim to get her final refraction to this pinhole result. Okay, so now can you read down the chart again for me, please? T L C N O E H D. That's a great job. Okay, so I'm just going to remove this pinhole now. Mm -hmm. So looking at the lowest line you can read. Step one is establishing the initial best sphere. Add, increase, or decrease spherical adjustment as required. Generally, start with a minus 0.5 diopter sphere and then refine with a minus 0.25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if it's better with? Or better without? Without. Without. And again, better with or better without? Better with. Okay. So I'm just going to put this lens in front of your right eye. Mm -hmm. so can you read that to the lowest line you can for me now? Okay, so A C E H L T N. Any lower? No, I don't think I can see any more. Okay. So just again for me, can you tell me if it's better with or better without? Without. Okay, and just with this one, can you tell me if it's better with or better without? It's better with. Okay. okay I'm just going to put this lens in front of your right eye. Yep. So can you read down to the lowest line count for me now, please? So T L C N O E H D. Okay, so looking at the O on the lowest line you can read, mm -hmm. can you tell me if it's better with or better without? Better with. Better with. And just again, is it better with or better without? Better without. Step two is searching for astigmatism. Ask the patient to look at a round letter. In this step, we are placing the minus 0.25 Jackson Cross Cylinder on the 90 and 180 degree axes. If the patient does not see clearer with either of these options, then you check the oblique axes at 45 and 135. In this case, Susan favours the minus 0.25 lens at 90 degrees. 
Therefore, we double the silk by adding a minus 0.5 cylindrical lens in at 90 degrees. This now introduces unwanted sphere power equal to minus 0.25 diopter sphere, which will shift the circle of least confusion off the retina. Hence, to compensate, we must add plus 0.25 to the sphere power. which changes Susan's Sophia power to minus 0.5. Her prescription is now minus 0.5 Sophia with minus 0.5 seal at 90 degrees. Okay, so looking at that same O, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you two views. Both may be blurry, but I just want you to tell me which one's better, okay? Okay. So better one or better two? Better one. Better one? Mm -hmm. And just again. Better one or better two? Better two. Okay. And just another time. Is it better one or better two or about the same? Um, it's about the same. About the same? Mm -hmm. Okay. Step three is to refine the cylinder axis. In this step, we straddle the axis of inserted seal lens in the trial frame with the JCC. The JCC is then flipped to present two views. The patient is told, both may be blurry, but the patient is asked whether it is clearer at view 1 or 2. We are using a minus lens, so we need to turn the trial axis lens towards the minus by 10 degrees. The patient then stated it was clearer on 2, so we move back towards the minus axis by 5 degrees. This step is repeated until she says both views are equal. Susan's prescription is now minus 0.5 sphere with minus 0.5 seal at 95 degrees. So can I have you just read down to the lowest line you can for me now please? Yep. So it's T-L-C-N-O-E-H-D. Can you read any lower? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay, so looking at that same O, can you tell me if it's better with or better without? Um, it's better without. Better without? And just again, is it better with or better without? Without. Without, okay. Step four is to refine the cylinder power. In this step, superimpose the JCC with the axis of the trial lens and ask the patient whether it is better with or without the lens. It is also recommended to check whether the patient likes the JCC in the plus direction to see if the patient wants less seal before finalising the seal power. Susan's prescription remains the same as before as she was happy with her current seal. Step 5 okay, is so to adjust the sphere power. Mm -hmm. Ask the patient if it's better with or without, without or just smaller without. and darker. Without, and just again, is it better with or without or smaller and darker? Yep, smaller and darker. Smaller and darker, okay. Just doing that again. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me if it's better with or better without? Or smaller and darker? Better with. Better with? Okay. Susan wants an additional minus 0 so 0.25. So we change the sphere from minus 0 0.5 to minus 0 0.75. This one? The seal power does not change. Now can you read the lowest line you can read for me please? Yep. So T-L-C-N-O-E-H-D. And any lower? O-D-E. C-L-H-A-U. Okay, that's great. Her final refraction is minus 0 0.75 with a minus 0 0.5 seal at 95 degrees. Okay, Susan, so we're almost done. Okay, good. So looking at the letters on the red and green background, mm -hmm. can you tell me if the letters are clearer on the red or the green background, or are they equal? Red's clearer just by a bit. Okay, that's great. This means Susan is slightly undercorrected, which is what we aim for in myopes. Okay, that'll be all for today, Susan. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> you just said go! Susan, I'm Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Susan. <laughs> yeah, I'm having trouble with my distance. Okay, Susan. Yes, please. So, looking at... <laughs> oh, Why are you watching your focus? You are watching your focus, Zane. Because you're saying you got some uh, experience. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, don't look at it, maybe.